Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to upgrade Linux Mint to the latest version. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, just open your terminal and make sure that your system is updated and upgraded. How can we do that? Well, just write here sudo space apt space update and this command will update your system. Give it your password, hit enter once again and you are good to go. After you are done with the update of your system, you need to upgrade it as well. So write here sudo space apt space upgrade and hit enter once again. It will check if there is any package that need an upgrade. We are done with the update and upgrade. Now it's time to install a small utility or you can say a tool that will help us to upgrade to the latest Linux Mint version. What it is? Well, it is from the Linux Mint itself and it is called as Mint Upgrade. Command for that is sudo space apt space install. Give it a space and write here Mint Upgrade. And after that, you just need to hit enter. I have already installed it into my system and now it's time to open that one. How can you open that? Well, just write here sudo space mint upgrade and hit enter. You might be wondering that why do we need to write sudo along with it? Well, this tool needs sudo privileges in order to work. That is why you need to write sudo. Now hit enter and it will open a prompt or a window like this in front of you. It says upgrade to Linux Mint 21 Vanessa. Just click on let's go button and now the process has started. Click on OK. And at the moment, it is checking your APT cache. This process will take a little bit of time. I'll just move it towards the left side and I'll move my terminal towards the right side so that we can see both of these at the same time. And from my terminal, you can see that there are some processes that are taking place. We are done with the APT cache check and now it is giving us some kind of warning or you can say some kind of error. Well, it is telling us to have a system snapshot so that in case if our system go into any problem, we can revert back all the changes. So how can we do that? Well, just click on this fix button and it will open timesheet for you. From here, you just need to create a snapshot of your system. I'll just click on this create button and it will estimate my system size and then it will create a snapshot. It will take a little bit of time, so be patient and wait for the process to get completed. We are done here with our system snapshot creation and now you just need to close this one and here you will see that it has started a new process. It is looking for the held packages and after that it will look for those packages that you need to download. After the held packages, now it is looking for the foreign packages and again it will take a little bit of time. Okay, we are done with all the checks and now it's time to download and check some other things. So just click on OK and it will check everything. After the check, these are different packages that we need to download and down here we have those packages that need to be removed. So just click on OK and your system will do everything on its own. At the moment, it has started to download all the packages that are needed to update to Linux Mint 21. And on the terminal, if you see here, you can see the progress and you can see the processes that are running at the moment. We are done with the download of all the needed packages and now it's time to upgrade them or you can say install them. So just click on OK and everything will be done on its own. Here it is telling us that there are some orphan packages that does not exist in our system. So what we need to do, we just need to click on this fix button and it will delete all those orphan packages. So just click on fix and here it is looking all those orphan packages and then it will delete all of them one by one. We are also done with that step and now we are into the final phase as it says finalizing the upgrades. After that we just need to follow the simple instruction that will be to reboot our system and we are good to go. We are done here with everything and as I said earlier, here we have the message telling us that we need to reboot our system. So I'll just close this wizard and after that I'll reboot my system. So I'll just write here reboot and I'll get back to you after we are done with the rebooting. We are back with the reboot of our Linux Mint 21. And as you can see on the welcome screen, it says Linux Mint 21. There is another way to confirm this. Just open your terminal and in that we'll use a command. Let me reposition it and here I'll write NeoFetch. NeoFetch is a terminal based utility that gives you all the information about your system. If I hit enter here you can see the operating system is Linux Mint 21. Here we have the host, its kernel version, packages, shell version, resolution and everything else. So that shows we have successfully upgraded our Linux Mint to the latest version. 
and there is one more thing that i want to discuss in here and that is if you see here we have an iso file of linux mint 20.3 well this is the original file that we used to install our linux mint 20.3 but as we have upgraded to linux mint 21 we do not have to worry about it anymore and that brings me to the end of this particular video i hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask do leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care